Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to NAG TV. I am here with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. And, uh, I had gotten a letter when I was back in camp about someone, I guess, Arthur knew, ex-wife or ex-girlfriend, somebody, is in Valentine and they wanted to meet him and talk to him. So here I am. This is where it led me. Let's go ahead and see what she wants. It sounded like she needed some help. She was in a... Was she in... Did it sound like she was in some help? I read that letter like... Four episodes... Like five, six episodes ago. Yes? I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? I have a collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... You've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and come here looking for me is that it no ain't like that Arthur oh, okay listen hmm. Arthur I I'm my family I need your help you mean the family that always looked down on me you want me to help them? it's my little brother Jamie I always liked Jamie at least compared to the rest of them He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. The for him. Fuck? They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Yeah. I guess I'll help. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. All right. Before I go, <laughs> get well, kind of pointless now, I guess. Because I'm just going to go get all dirty. But watching myself in that cutscene, I'm kind of dirty. I'm a dirty fella. I haven't taken a bath or a shower in some time. Not shower, a bath. I haven't rinsed my face, I should say, in some time. Alright, let's go see where she wants me to go now. Yeah, this is another... This is gonna be another ride. Be quite the journey.
Oh shit. Oh shit, the horse is running away. Whoa, 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 horse. Whoa. Son of a bitch. Who the hell? Go ahead and drop you down. Sir, please help me out of here. The hell happened to you? showed up when you did all oh, the things he said he'd do to me it's all right ma'am it's over now thank you again yeah okay boy yeah just go and take his horse <laughs> all right well nice folks around here yeah real nice so, folks Alrighty, looks like we're riding up to where she said the, what, what did she, uh, the Changaloans, the hell? Easy now. Chelonians? That's what she called them, Chelonians. Chelonia, what the hell is this? Is this supposed to be like the old western version of Kiflom? No, all praise Kiflam. One hundred years ago. Gentlemen. Shallow safety. Shallow safety. The hell? Shallow safety. 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 Path to truth. Well, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm not deciding right now on my path, um, but still searching, I guess. My path still we involves searching. gathering that boy Chilonian and taking him back to his sister. Is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Purpose stupidity. We all search for a purpose. Know. Safety. Safety and Meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... Easy. I'm Easy. I'm coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Are you serious? Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. All right. I tried going about this nice. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. I'll bring you back hogtied if I have to. Matter of fact, let me grab my rope. Come on now. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. I know a lot about it. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. Oh, I swindled a lot of people. Oh shit, God, Jesus Christ! Come on, horse. Come on, Brutus. I'm sorry. What the fuck is that? Dinosaur is that running across the field? Like a fox or something. Good God, that was a that was a mean header I took. Yep. That was almost another mean one I took right there. Fuck, this kid got pretty far from me. Oh, 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 was he 
shooting? Is he shooting at me? Jamie, don't do it, Jamie. Ah, oh, fuck. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Dumb fuck. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm. I'm gonna. Don't do I it, kid. Don't live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Don't do it. Don't make me do something. Slowly press R2 to fill up the meter. Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Hmm. You're just yep. confused, kid. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All oh, I kept the telling was, Come here, rabbit. You won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. <laughs> Roadkill. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father. Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. <laughs> Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle oh, and shit. Bessie? I just... <laughs> My God. Oh, God damn it. Are you serious? No shit. I meant to like yeah, slow down. I whacked my microphone on my controller. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. <laughs> That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Maybe you're not different Here enough. She must be waiting inside. Uh, let's go hitch up the horse and head on inside.
You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Jamie Gillis. Mister. Hey there. Feller. We going in then? Usually I shoot people who walk up to me and go, Mister. Like that. Give me that tone of Mister. Jamie. Jamie. Come home. Please. You've. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. What well, a hell of a way to just leave a guy who saved your brother. I feel like. The luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. <sighs> yep. Men do strange things in these times for the love of a beautiful woman. Strange things indeed. <laughs> well, alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed at all, leave a like, comment below, and if you're new, subscribe. I appreciate it. And check out the rest of my channel. See if there's anything up there that you might also enjoy. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Damn Jets. <laughs> Peace out.